Welcome to video 5.4, Time Travel, Telling a Story with Bookmarks. In the previous video, we introduced drill through and buttons, using them to link our two pages together interactively. In this video, we'll explore bookmarks. They are used to save report state. Once you've saved some bookmarks, you can access them in any order. You can also access them sequentially, making them a powerful storytelling feature of Power BI. Let's see how they work. Open up your report from last video, or from Code Files Section 5 PBIX, open up Customer Data Video 5.3.pbix. To access bookmarks, go to View in the ribbon and tick Bookmarks pane. Then click Add Bookmark. We've just saved our default state. Click on the bookmarks ellipsis and choose Rename. Let's call this one Start. As a simple example of a workflow story, let's trace the steps to profile our top customer. Select Muriel Quip. In the bookmarks pane, click Add. Click to rename. Let's call this one Select Muriel. Now right click on Muriel in the list and choose Drill Through Profile. We're at the profile page for Muriel. Click Add again and rename this one Profile Muriel. Now what can we do with this? For one thing, instead of clicking back, you can click Start and walk through each step and even walk them back. When you want to tell the whole story in a more presentation-friendly format, you can hit View. Then you can close the bookmarks pane and step from the bottom. Now, suppose you want to have a selection applied when arriving at Muriel's profile. No problem. Just make the selection now, turn the bookmarks pane back on, right click on Profile Muriel, and click Update to include the selection state in the bookmark. Let's test it. Back to Start, Profile Muriel, and there we go, our selection is indeed applied. Bookmarks are even more powerful than drill through in that respect. If we want to enable an end user to easily jump to Muriel's profile, we can expose the bookmark on the page as a button. Back to start. From the Home ribbon, drop down the list of buttons and choose Bookmark. All the buttons work alike, so you're really just choosing its shape and default action here. Drag it to where we have some space and expand it out to be about the width of a thumbnail so that we can add some text. Now turn button text on, expand the panel, and replace our default text here with top customer profile. From the drop down labeled default state, choose on hover. This will change the label when the mouse moves over the button. We'll call this go to profile. The third state is on press, which is used to provide feedback that the click worked. And that's a very good idea, as there might be a delay when changing pages on the web and users appreciate knowing that their click was applied. So here we'll say loading profile. Next we need to set up the button action. So turn on action, expand it out and make sure the type is bookmark, and set bookmark to our profile Muriel bookmark. All done, so let's try it out. Remember we have to control click buttons because we're in the editor. So you can see it's a switch when we hover over it, control click, loading profile, and there we are. Now let's go back to our start state and save our work. Finally, let's publish this to the web and see how our end users will experience these bookmarks. So click publish, select my workspace, and when it loads, we'll open it up in Power BI. Here we are, and, as expected, a regular click on the bookmark button takes us to Muriel's profile with the selection applied. Now we can use bookmarks directly here as well. From View, turn Bookmarks pane on. Now we can navigate the bookmarks directly as we could in Desktop, and we can use View Mode as well. That should get you started telling stories with bookmarks in Power BI. Next video, we'll look at navigating out of reports and dashboards with embedded hyperlinks.